Hello and welcome to another quick hitter video from Billy Ho Sports. I was covering the Ellis Park Derby today and I had already done a preview video on the Ellis Park Derby, which is race six. Then I decided to do a late pick five video, races six through ten, put that out. And then I was going back through the card again and noticed race five, the Cowboy Jones Stakes. It's for three-year-olds and upward, $150,000 purse money. One mile on the dirt and has some familiar names in it, including one Saudi crown. I thought that sparked my interest right away. I said, I'm going to do a quick video on this race and see what we got. And if anybody's even close to Saudi crown in this race, let's give them a look. So I didn't see it. I, I see the prime power that Saudi crown is not even listed. I mean, 121.4 is ridiculous. I don't know. I, I do pay attention to these prime power numbers, but that is just wrongy dongy there's no way that mr wireless should be that many points higher than saudi crown let's look at mr wireless machine machine gun man number one uh probably a no-go for me just the the speed figures the par speed figures 97 we're looking for 97 almost 100 i guarantee you saudi crown's got 100 plus in him today speed figure for brisnet so wireless does have that big 107, 105, 100. Uh, definitely somebody to contend with in this. Has some early uh, early presser type speed. The second place to injunction, pretty solid race. So in include, what I'm going to do is probably key uh, one horse on top and then go underneath. So prevalence is another one has some mid speed Brendan Walsh trainer is one of the top trainers at Ellis park winning at a really nice clip right now, but this one just, uh, can't seem to get a mile. I don't think that it's, it's got seven furlongs. I watched this race and it faltered, uh, before they even got to the stretch going seven furlongs, then didn't quite get there against, uh, in a maiden 100 K. So, uh, Optional claiming was a winner here at Keeneland at six furlongs, but just got killed at a mile. I mean, not a route runner, but I would say this horse is more of a six furlong type of horse to me. Most of its success coming there has not yet to get there at anything further than six, basically. Confidence game, I've seen enough of this horse that they just can't find a spot for him anywhere. Complete toss. I find Pipeline interesting, Sherry DeVoe, Jamie Torres, definitely some decent speed figures here. Uh, and I think that one uh, will definitely be in the mix. Of course, number six, Saudi Crown, above and away the best. I mean, we're going to see one of these type races today, I do believe. So uh, look out. And then I like Silver Prospector, Steve Asmussen, obviously one of the top trainers in the country. Uh, coming off of freshening, I think maybe just got a little bit too many races under his belt going from December to January to February to March, and then uh, just kind of tuckered out. Maybe, I don't know, but I think coming off of freshening, I think we'll run better. Then you have Injunction, who is probably the second best, I guess. As far as I can see, got the 101 right here. Definitely going to be an underneath. Three technique, I, I think, would be uh, usable if you'd like, but I'm not going to use them until the third leg of the of the uh, trifecta that I'm trying to do. I'm definitely going to use Ray's cane because just steady Eddie across the board, nothing but third thirds and fifths. I mean, just running in some really, really quality races against quality fields, I think will show up today with the drop in class sired by violence same sire that produced forte then a happy american is another one of those that's kind of bleh uh the, the, they keep trying to make him a thing and they he can't get there against this competition so uh pass on that one big blue line somewhat interesting william walden definitely a formidable up-and-comer 
Axel Concepcion in the saddle, but I think this one will be best best used underneath. So what I am going to do is I am going to go key Saudi crown on top. And then underneath, I'm going to go with, I'm going to include Mr. Wireless number two. Then I'm going to go five, seven, eight, ten. So over two or six over the two, five, seven, eight, ten. Then overall for a 50 cent trifecta and just hope one of these Number five, Pipeline. Number seven, Silver Prospector, I think will be good value. Maybe one of those can sneak in. Uh, and then maybe one of these longer shots. There's plenty of horses in this race to click that all button on. And it'll cost you maybe uh, somewhere in the neighborhood of $25 for a 50-cent ticket. Maybe it'll come out and pay out at least double your money. We'll see with Saudi crown being on top. People are going to be keying that a lot of different ways, but I thought I'd share this with you. Best of luck this weekend, support the channels, give a subscribe, give a like, leave a comment till next time. See you soon.